morning, folks. Welcome to Wonder Eats. Today, we're staying at uh, Lexus Hibiscus, and uh, this is not a review of the hotel, this is a review of the buffet, actually. So, since we're here for two nights, and uh, we're afforded two different uh, buffet locations for the room that we got, uh, so we're gonna share that with you guys. So, today is the first day, uh, first morning, and we're going up here, the second floor for the buffet a la carte breakfast which is available from 6.30 to 10 a.m. every day. Alright, then tomorrow we're gonna go out to the main uh, uh, coffee house and we're gonna review that uh, buffet. Some breads, cereals and boxes. This our table. So here is where all the juices are stored, including some jams. So this is all freshly. I'm gonna take one watermelon. Okay. So from the the staff, you can order the American breakfast. Thank you. So this is a self-made sandwich I did, and also the ayam berempah. There isn't a lot of choices, but uh, the a la carte makes up for it, I guess. Here we have the cappuccino. You can also order the latte as well. Sugar is right here. Here we have the American breakfast. Not a very large portion, but just nice. So you have the scrambled egg, the bread, sausages, and and here we have the other one. Lovely. Thank you so much. <coughs> so leave this red bean here. It's a bit watery though. Know? Alright, so actually they also serve the omelette together with the big breakfast, which is actually quite a lot of eggs. Alright, so anyway that's it for the breakfast at the lighthouse. So we shall continue with breakfast tomorrow at uh, the coffee house. We're heading to the Horizon Deck for our buffet breakfast. Now because I believe this, they are quite packed uh, in terms of occupancy, hence they have to do this. Actually, Horizon Deck is more for their, uh, how do I put this? Um, it's a common area where they, you can book for events and things like that. So here we go. We set it up for breakfast, school holidays, plenty of crowd. So, as we enter, you find the cereals, the breads. Here we have the buffet line, we have oatmeal and red bean broth. Interesting. It's gooey though. So, there's dal and paratha, chicken soup. So these are the condiments for you to put into the soup here and the, the soup is rather over there here's where you can request for omelettes some dim sum oh wow steamy hot uh, different colors so we have the porridge here so this is a plain and this is the chicken and then you add in all this Oh, this is my favourite so We have the red bean, curry potatoes Oh, this is awesome This usually comes with the satay Here we have the 
salad, compote parts, salted cheese. Girls will love that. Here we have the Jiang Fan. I guess you have to cut them yourself, so you just take and add all these condiments. Uma. Okay, I've never tried this before. Now this is very interesting. Uma. Gotta research more about that. Uh, fried noodles, fried rice, chicken cooked with chili paste. The Roma is there, that's for sure. Nasi Lama. That's basically it. That's all we have for buffet breakfast. Uh, the crowd, this area is huge. Plenty of seating. And the view, as usual, is gorgeous. So let's grab some food. I guess this is the perk of dining at uh, Horizon Deck. Able to enjoy this view while enjoying your breakfast. So this is what I got. Now this is the nasi lemak with the chili with chicken. This is something which I've never tried before. Uma, bihun and fried rice. So I had the bread just now and the omelette. Okay, the omelette was good because it was made fresh. Uh, other than that, it was just okay. The fruit juice right here is like drinking sugar water. Very very sweet. So let's give this a try. Mm. No comments. Nasalama. Wow, this is also extremely sweet. Nasalama on its own, I guess it's okay, but nothing special. So let's give this a try. Very gooey texture, hint of sweetness, but very mild sweetness. It's, it's pretty okay. That's nice. Maybe I've got nothing better to compare it to. <sighs> and last but not least. Mmm. My god. Not, not really good. Unfortunately. Not much choices here. In my personal opinion, I believe yesterday's breakfast was better because the big breakfast was cooked to order. And they have juices in jugs, so yeah, I would rather go back there if I have the choice. So we've come to the end of our stay at Lexus Hibiscus. We are uh, about to check out now. In fact, uh, we're just having our breakfast prior to check out. Um, now, to sum it all, again, the service staff, especially the buggy service, the front office. Uh, I mean, sorry, the restaurant, the FMB uh, staff, fantastic. All of them are very friendly, super helpful, go out of their way to help you, so top notch there. Their maintenance, uh, the, the front office uh, reception people, or on the lighthouse here, I'm talking about, uh, not so good. So the experience uh, sort of makes in that sense. Um, so we changed the room we went to 422 the beds are comfy one thing i do like about lexus i discuss is that uh, the data coverage for uh, mobile data is very good although the wi-fi is um, unstable at times but uh, the data is very good so most of the time we use our own data both maxis and cellcom non-sponsored <laughs> so but other than that uh, that's the summary of our stay all right guys so hopefully Lexus Hibiscus staff, uh, management, if you are watching this video or somewhere forward them this video, I hope they will improve on those aspects. Because it's a shame because this place is gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. Alright guys, thanks for viewing our video again. Thanks for listening to our, my rant. Um, but uh, I'm doing it sincerely and hopefully that they can improve on their, uh, their rooms and their villas. Okay, do subscribe to our channel. Hit on the bell icon to be notified of our next videos and see ya!